I'm unsure what exactly I'm gonna do next. So it's either clean this out and get this all prepped and ready to start receiving other parts or work more on stripping the other wagon. I decided that whatever Kurt chose was going to be for stripping out the wagon. I asked Kurt heads or tails, so tails, strip out the other wagon, heads, start working more on this one. So. Tails it is. if I can drop the diff then that means I've got 99% well 90% of what I need out of it and I can probably just drag it out into the yard and it won't matter if it gets wet because I had all my Haltech and all my good electronics in there before so with all that out I can rip it out and then get the other one into this area which this is my main work bay the other side is usually for Cats Carter Park, so I've been kind of trying to sort things out so I can get that out so it can go in for all these storms we keep getting. At the moment, her car's not going to fit in here regardless, so I'm going to drop the diff from this. The tail shaft will come with it, and the exhaust will just slide straight out the back then as well, so that'll make life nice and easy. It'll cover a bunch of bases. 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 Base, bases. <laughs> I'll light again. Oh fuck. The tires fell off the front. Oh gosh. Let's just uh, put that back under there. Anyway, been good progress on ripping this out, stripping this so far. Like, getting all the dash shit out was a huge thing. Like I'm just going to straight swap the steering column and just swap the lock barrel. It's going to be easier than trying to undo the strip nuts on that one that I stripped to replace the steering coupler bush. So it'd be easier to just swap the whole fucking, the whole thing over. Alright, oh, alright. I'll chuck a light under there so you can somewhat see I guess. And yeah, keep on stripping. <laughs>
in pelting sweat, chewed on by mosquitoes, filthy, itchy. That turned into a prick of a job. I was hoping to like have the exhaust out and tank out fucking pretty well have this thing gutted so I don't have to look at it again. I can like get it out in the yard and free up all this space, but apparently not. That took a while to do. The fact that I had belts up on belts tangled around fucking everything made that ridiculously fucking hard to do. I'd like to say this is where I come to the realisation that I'm not going to go until they pop. But I'm still going to run until they pop. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If I pay for the tyre, I'm getting 100% out of the tyre. Stiff tail shaft out, all the dash, all my electronics from the front end. So, making good progress towards this thing being stripped out anyway. But it's all I'm going to have time for on the weekend. So, that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Like, I've been working six day weeks, or at least a Saturday anyway. Last week I was sick, so I had time off, but still, I couldn't do much while I was sick, and then working the sad day means I've got one day to do everything. Which that one day to do everything means shopping, like food shopping, all the rest of it. So, I only got out to this thing halfway through the day. But, I'm happy with the progress regardless. Made good legs towards legs, good legs, good lengths. Sure, that'll work. It's made good lengths towards uh, <laughs> getting all my good stuff over onto the new shelf. So once everything's out of this, it gets put out in the yard, and then the new shell gets wheeled into here, and everything starts going into it. And that's when things really start to come together. <sighs> well, I am tired, I'm exhausted, I... Oh, case in point, I am so ready for bed. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down below, come have a chat, let me know your thoughts. If you haven't already, consider subscribing, tell your friends about the channel, and as always, thank you guys for coming, appreciate yous, See you on the next one. Woo! That was fucking weird. Peace out.